Hey guys, Dennis Machina here. Thanks for hanging out with me today, and we're continuing with more WWE 2K18 My Career Mode. Now, last week, it took me quite a few tries, but I was able to obtain money in the bank. Of course, during the recording, I didn't do the necessary requirements, so after a little while, after I was able to, you know, just let all that anger out, because money in the banks are always a pain... I went back, I redid it, I did my OMG moment, I did my spot off the ladder. All good, all ready to go. Now it's time to enter July 2019, week one. Now let's go speak with Todd Mullen in the production area. We have Anaya Jax backstage, uh, Mark Henry, random woman, random construction worker. So scout around. Let's see what people are saying about my Money in the Bank victory. Let's see what we got this way. We got nothing. No Renee Young. No, we have a Dana Brooke. Uh, you have anything important to say? Anything at all? Yep, that's okay. Oh, hey Dean. Hey, hey. I, I won the Money in the Bank briefcase. What did you think about that, huh? What do you think? What do you think? I beat you. I beat you. At the upcoming pay-per-view, I'm ready to wow the WWE Universe. They don't pay my bills, but they pay my bills. You catch my drift. They deserve to be rewarded for spending their hard-earned money on Dean Ambrose. Way to talk about yourself in the third person. Cool. Okay. It's like a Noam Dar. Da 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 And Mr. Paul Heyman. Hey, Paul. Hey, Paul, what do you think about my Money in the Bank victory? What do you think? What do you think? You excited about it? What do you think? You got to do way more than you've been doing to even have five minutes of my time, kid. Wow, just zero respect for Mr. Money in the Bank. Okay. All right, that's, that's cool. Hey, Steph. Steph, you here? No, you're not here. Why aren't you here the day after Money in the Bank to congratulate me? What the hell? No. No party, no victory parade. No one cares. Please stop. I'm going to go this way. Okay, Todd, what do you got for me? You're excited, right? You're happy for me, right? You're, you're happy? A huge night for you, Team Raw. Par partially, right? Partly, right? Uh, how's that? Anyway, Joe will be here shortly. This is better if I go out now by myself. Ah, so you got a notion to change things up. Well, this is your night after all. The ring is yours. All right, people. You're going to love me. Even though I'm a heel, you don't really want you to love me. But you're going to love me anyway because you're jealous. You're all jealous of me. So, about my deal with the champion, the one about winning a glorious victory, holding aloof, the legendary briefcase, and relinquishing over to him with all the pomp of, of, a, of a dynasty anniversary celebration. Screw that noise. I changed my mind. I can't read the rest of the promo, apparently. Okay, so I was going to try to keep it with me being a heel, but apparently I have to... I have to go after him. Uh, that's interesting that they kind of force you to do that. They kind of take away that choice. All right, come on, Joe. Come on, Joe. If you do this, you really go through with this, and don't give me the briefcase or it's going to be hell to pay. If not now, later. When it happens, it's going to blindside you and hit you so hard that you'll wonder if you'll ever stop flying from the impact. If I have any say in I can read the whole thing because I read really slow. There we go. Let's get one thing straight right away. I do not take orders from anyone. I cannot be bought. I cannot be manipulated. All these things are basically what you try to do. So when it comes down to you asking me to relinquish my hard-earned victory 
That's a glaring no spelled in. <laughs> okay, I couldn't read the rest of that either. We're gonna give you a lot of time here. I feel sorry for you. You don't understand how badly you misjudged the wisdom of this victory. You broke your word. So what if you got away with it and screwed me? Now everyone will look a cast at you. No one will trust one word you say. So what happens afterwards? If yeah, nobody likes me. Got it. You weren't. Okay. Some people are worth following straight into the gates of hell. But that ain't you. I used to respect you. And when we started working together, I did. But the more I thought about it, the more I thought that I didn't want to follow you. The fact is, what has brought us here tonight, I will not... <laughs> I couldn't read the other one. The universe is built on trust. We know Vince has an eye on keeping everything in pit perfect pitch. We know that Triple H has already this running like the well-oiled machine it is. We know the fans are going to fill this arena with the amazing energy. But now you violate our trust. Yeah, that's great. Okay. Okay, I'm going to keep on going along this path, I guess. I, I can't come into my own if I'm constantly chasing after you. Stuck in your shadow. It's stifling in here. Everything I do has to be tailored to keep you in mind. To keep your objectives as priority number one. I don't like having to always check in with you. I hate needing your approval in order to do my job. I like that. I like that a lot. Do you have any friends? I mean that. I really do. Do you have any friends here outside of the WWE? They must have the loyalty of a god. Because I can't understand how anyone would have affectionately... Have affection for you after showing your true colors. No, I can't see you having anyone in your... You're not even listening to what I'm saying, are you? You shouldn't have... Here we go, fine. Ultimately, I shouldn't have even had to use you or anyone. My presence in Money in the Bank should have been a foregone conclusion to everyone else as it was to me. I am so annoyed by the theme of proving myself... And then being ignored. How loud do I have to be to get noticed? Well, notice me now, people! Okay, here we go. Take notice. There may It may not have been a time at which I could have been stopped. If there was, it's long since passed. I'm invincible train plowing forward, and it really doesn't matter to me if the track is going to run out eventually or if there I didn't see the rest of that. Yeah, you can't you can't say anything. You can't say anything. Huh? I can't say anything to that, can you? Okay, so apparently I'm not a heel. All right, so I got 161. Not the best, but I won the promo and I got a hundred, over a hundred, so I achieved my goal. And it really is disappointing, though. They don't let you continue to be a heel. They kind of force you. I mean, I understand why people wouldn't want to do that, wouldn't want a blind, following blind in this and being like Joe's lackey forever. But like that, that's interesting that they just take that choice away from you. Because I, I've, I've seen this road before in other playthroughs. And they, I guess they just all end the same. Like he can't... That he can't choose to stay along that path and, you know, be a good company man, so to say. I don't know. Alright, Todd. Why are you shaking your head? Why are you shaking your head? Stop shaking your head. Be happy. That was a sight to see. Enjoy the festivities. Festivities. Yeah, that's the word. Phew. Son, you may be Mr. Money in the Bank, but you've made some powerful enemies tonight. One day I'll make it up to him. He was always a tool to use. I know what I'm doing. I guess? I know he's sore, but honestly, one day I'll make it up to him. That's assuming a lot. Mostly that the day actually exists. All things are connected, my friend. Screwing over one person isn't something that happens in a vacuum. Now, they have connections, so yeah, we'll see what happens. If anything, where I were you, I braced myself in any events. Just in case you understand. We'll see ya. Okay. 
Well, that wasn't going quite the way I planned it. I still thought I was a heel, but this game is, seems to be forcing me into the role of a babyface. Hi, Christian. Do you have anything important to add? I remember I was so excited to talk to you last time you gave me nothing. Putting the champ on notice. Damn. Yep. That's words to live by right there. July 2019, week number two. No one's backstage. I don't really feel like talking to anybody else. No one was really impressed by what I had to say. Oh, Renee, can I cut a promo? Can I Can I cut a promo? Can, can I cut a... Yes, yes I can. You will. I don't need Todd to tell me I'm going to talk to her. I'm going to talk to her regardless. Okay, your opponent tonight has threatened to tear off your head in your match. How concerned are you for your well-being? Well, when you tear off my head, that doesn't sound too good. Okay, I'm here to please my fans. The WWE Universe gives me strength. My opponent's just a, another in the long line. Management can test me all they want. Okay, these all look like babyface type answers. Okay, so we'll go with that. On a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the highest, I'm a negative infinity. I know the WWE Universe has my back and believes in me. Uh, they give me the strength I need to win tonight and every night. You've obviously accomplished a lot. What will you achieve next? I'm never satisfied and always looking for my next victory. Every night, I'll keep working to keep greatness. The GM is paving the way for me to rule the WWE. I'm going to keep achieving total devastation. Okay, here we go. What about this? WWE Universe knows that I'm never satisfied. Every accomplishment is just set for the next great victory. I'm always looking ahead to my next match, my next victory, and my next step on the path to becoming a WWE legend. I'll never stop achieving. Alright, I'm gonna have her back to you, Cole. I don't know why I gave Renee that voice. Okay, so it looks like we have some more people. We have a Sheamus, we have an Enzo. What up, Sheamus? How's it going, fella? I know you've been looking for a way to kick down some doors here. And create some headlines. I think I have an idea for you. Really? I'm definitely looking to get some attention. What were you thinking? Well, I know that Bo Dallas has been planning on running his mouth. about And bragging about how great he is. I think it'd be amazing if you were to interrupt him and show him how to really work the mic. Huh. Uh, interrupt the guy, really? You just want me to go out there and talk trash to him? How about that? That's your big idea for me? Why don't you do it yourself? Seems like to me you just want me to do your dirty work. I really don't care what it seems like. Stay unknown, whatever. Okay, so I don't know if that's the next thing I'm doing. Hello, Mr. Enzo. How's it going? Hey, I was going to ask you a favor for you. Sure, what were you thinking? Well, last week, Seamus jumped me from behind and my back hasn't been feeling right since. Nothing major, but still not great. I was hoping you could find him backstage and beat him up a bit. Well, he's, he, he's right there. He's right there. Like, he, it's not hard to find. I'd do it, but I'm still a little hurt. Don't want to make it worse. Yeah, like, seems kind of low to me, honestly. It's what he's got coming after what he did to me. It makes me no better than him either. Sorry, man. Get him yourself. Like, seriously? Bro, like, he's right there. See? 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 He's like, let's see how many steps he is, okay? I'm standing right where you're standing, right? Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven steps. He's seven steps away from you. Oh, my God. Seven steps. Oh, hey, Stephanie. Hi. Bit awkward, huh? How's it going? Bothering me is not the way to keep your job, but I missed your money in the bank. No one has any respect. No one, no respect. Hello, Todd again. How you doing? What's going on? What's going down? What is up? All right, take a look at the match card and let me know when you are ready. All right, 
I got a match. I got a match. Who am I taking on? Who wants a piece of me? Oh! Oh! Oh, this could be good. This could be a good match. Me versus Finn Balor. Looking back on it, it seems weird that Finn Balor would want to tear my head off. That, that's what was told to me in an interview with Renee, that he wanted to tear my head off, and I don't know why. Oh, super kick! Super kick potter! Well, you're really close to me, and boom! Super kick potter! Not the best performance, but not your worst either. Keep on improving. Okay, that's very, uh, very motivational of you to say. I appreciate it. Teen... I remember what's going on backstage. Titus Worldwide to my right. Let me speak with Todd Mullen. Oh, another promo. Can I cut another promo? Hopefully I, I can... Since apparently they're pushing me in the babyface route, I'm going to try to be a babyface, I guess. So I guess more of these promos is what I need to do to get people to like me. Obviously, your opponent has many allegiances in the WWE. Allegiances in the WWE. Are you concerned they might play a factor in tonight's match? All the merrier, but I got the WWE universe. But what about my alliances? Not at all. Okay, this is the babyface one, so we're going with this one. What kind of factor are they going to play against the WWE universe? They got my back tonight. That's all that matters going into the match. So yeah, he can bring whoever he wants. He can't bring a thousand. He keep, but he can't bring thousands of fans. What do you do to stay in shape? Oh, you you wanna you wanna know why I look why I look so good? Is is that what you know? look look at her? She's hitting on me. She is hitting on me. All right, okay. So yeah, how about this? Do you have any idea how much work it takes to keep? This beautiful shape, you clearly don't. This is a 24-7 body. I'm in the gym constantly. I watch my diet. I count my calories. It's all about discipline. There you have it. Back to you guys. Look at Renee hitting on me. Damn it, now I have to worry about Dean coming after me now. Come on, Renee. What are you doing to me? What are you doing to me? I get that you're into me, but try to stay quiet about it. You can keep it between us. It's okay. You don't have to tell the whole world about it. Oh, oh, fan favorite level three. You have gained a buff which will take effect in this week's promo. The bonus points you earn when quickly making promo selections will increase. Okay. Okay, so I guess talking to her put me in a better frame of mind as far as being a babyface goes. Hello, Bray. Mr. Wyatt, how's it going, sir? Every night's a special night, but tonight, tonight I wanted to see. If someone like you wanted, would be willing to reach the levels of someone like me. If someone like you wanted to be a star. Could find it himself, man. Someone like Angel Amore. To ruin his match. And burn him for, and burn him in your fire. Devour his world. You know what? I like you, Bray. I like you a lot. I like you a lot. So, I'm going to help you out. If I want things in, in the WWE, I have to take them. And if I have to take from Enzo Amore, then so be it. Win a mid-match run-in. Uh, this is probably not going to help my being a face thing. And I apologize for that bad impression of Bray Wyatt. I had, I had a rough idea, then I went with something else, and it just wasn't working. So, sorry, guys. Sorry. We expect a lot of... We expect a lot out of you tonight. Don't let us down. Okay, so what exactly you expect of me? What what exactly am I doing that's so much that's, that's expected? Oh, 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 I'm back with Baron. Okay, so they remember that we're a tag team. Okay, cool. We're going against the club. Oh, well, I guess that makes sense now, doesn't it? Last week, I took out Finn Balor. Now I'm taking out the club. I see I see what you're doing, game. I see what you're doing. So he's randomly fighting Big Show for reasons I don't know. So let's go. Let's do it. Let's go. And 
and super kick potter and super kick potter oh, you go end of days it's over baby there we go Baron Corbin Dennis Machina are your winners of tonight's tag team matchup Will they ever give us tag team championship match? Probably not, because they're scared. They're scared of us. Of that whooping we just laid on them. Or, well, more I laid on them. Okay. That's all done then, yeah? Uh, four stars. Not too shabby. An amazing matchup. I was excited. He's happy. Like what you did there tonight. Let's see more of that next week. That's more generic crap. Okay, can you move out of my way? I I, I gotta leave. I gave super kicks to everybody. Won all of my matches that were against the club and club-like members. I told Samoa Joe off. I'm gonna go get some coffee with my girl Alexa Bliss right here. Now we'll do it for this week's episode. Thanks, guys, as always, for hanging out with me. Like this video if you're enjoying this series. Comment down below. Uh, let me know uh, how yours is going, how your career is going. Are you on SmackDown? Do you have any titles yet? How do you challenge for the tag titles? I really want to know how you do that. Uh, share this video. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Hit that notification button so you never miss an episode of any one of my series. And I swear I didn't do that. And I'll see you guys next time.